Okay, for once, I just uh, searched YouTube and didn't see anything on this, so I figured I'd throw a video together real quick for you. Um, I just uh, purchased a couple of the uh, Netgear GS105E uh, switches, and um, they're, uh, um, looks, what is it, five, yeah, five port switches, fairly reasonable. Um, and the reason I bought them was they have uh, VLAN support, and I um, wanted to show you, uh, there's a little uh, tool that comes with them, ProSafe Plus configuration utility here. I've not found a way to access these things via the web protocol. So I've got two of them, um, and what I've got is um, my media center has a number of devices, and one of them which my wife likes to use to, to watch uh, videos from other countries and stuff, and uh, it's a Windows box, unfortunately, and I don't trust it against the rest of the network. Um, so I have that box here, and then in my computer closet, I installed the other switch, and I named it Closet. Um, so uh, let's get on with the configuration. Kind of weird, you'd think you could double click on this to get it to pull it up. The only way I've found for it to pull up is actually have to come down here to apply. And um, it's going to ask you for your password, or it should. slow. By the way, the default password on these switches when you first get them is, is password, P-A-S-S-W-R-D. I've already changed it on mine. It's the first thing I did when I got a hold of them. Um, okay, and then uh, it comes up and um, we'll show you what you've got plugged in and what speeds. Um, and then, uh, so we'll go over to VLAN and 8021.Q and advanced. Um, and so uh, what you want to do is you want to start off with uh, creating some VLANs. Uh, so you can come down here to VLAN ID and type them in. In this case, I've already I've created um, 10, 20, and 30. Uh, you just type like 10 and hit add, 20 and hit add, and so forth. Uh, and then you can do your memberships where um, you click on, for example, in this case, uh, 10. And I've assigned that to the first port. And uh, I'll explain this T in a second. And then uh, 20, I assign that to the second port. And then VLAN 30, I assign to the third port. Now, what I actually wanted to do was um, the, uh, the segment that I have plugged into the closet here on the first port is the segment that the rest of the house uses and is trusted. And the, uh, the cable that's plugged in on this one is from the firewall segment that is not trusted that the, the wife's computer was on. And so what I've done is I've configured the second port to be a trunk. So uh, anything that comes across this guy, the, the third, third port on the switch uh, upstairs is going to get tossed into or tossed onto, ca onto the cable that's plugged into this, which comes downstairs. And then um, down here, I've done kind of the opposite. Um, where, uh, well actually not down here, but still up there. I've also said uh, in, in, the, in the wiring closet, um, anything that um, comes into this, into port one on the switch gets tossed also onto port two. So between uh, this, the VLAN 10 and the VLAN 30, they're, they're combining everything. So I've got basically two different networks coming down that one wire to downstairs. And then um, downstairs, I did uh, exactly the same thing, and I don't know if it's going to let me get to that, so we're going to say cancel. I don't know if it's going to let me go back. Let's just say network and see if it'll find it. It's a little slow because it's actually doing... Oh, uh, that's why I've got this up back here as well. It appears to be doing uh, broadcast messages um, to find those um those the, the netgear switches and, and do an admin on those again i'd really like to have a web admin or something like that but um so i've got this uh this running in a vmware uh, window on my on my apple because uh, the the cd that came with the netgear uh, didn't have an apple program on it so there's another kind of ding against them um this really ought to have been all web based i don't know why i've got to use a client for it but i guess because i'm because it's doing broadcast at any rate um Oh, I'm sorry. So that actually, I just went over the one that was downstairs. That was the configuration downstairs. 
and hopefully it'll, for some reason it's not, there we go, now it's letting me in on the one upstairs uh, in my, my computer closet. And um, then we go to VLAN, advanced, well actually Q and then advanced. And it's pretty much the same thing. Uh, memberships, um, so 10, uh, they're again um, up to two for trunking. And then the, and the 20 is just kind of sitting there. They're nothing. Probably, I probably didn't have to sign that. I just did. Um, and 30, uh, they're again up and chunk it to two. Now, the way you change these things, you just click on them. Um, so I could go here, U, T, or nothing. Um, so I'm just going to cancel that because I don't want to change it. And that's it. Hope this helps. Uh, leave feedback or comments um, if uh, I forgot something wrong or, or you think I should improve something.